Number 16, this is 2008 Saka Javier dollar in MS68 condition. Highly elusive superb gem with immaculate surfaces and vibrant manganese luster. According to PCGS, the 2008 D Saka Javier dollars have one of the lowest mintage, if not the lowest, in the entire series. They are common in grades up to MS66 and MS67. Some sorting is required, but not difficult to find with proper searching. However, in MS68, they are very difficult to find, and probably no more than 100 examples exist in this condition or higher. This superb gem ended up selling for $2430. Number 15, this is 1911 S. Lincoln Center MS66 red condition. Satiny pale mint orange surfaces display boldly struck motifs and lively luster. According to NGC's low mintage of cents at San Francisco in 1911, attracted no attention at the time. But the collecting of current coins grew in popularity during the 1930s and revealed just how few pieces could still be found in circulation. Mint state coins were always quite scarce with fully red gems being exceedingly so. This specimen was sold for $5,750. Number 14, this is 1941 Lincoln Cent with double diverse, graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS, intensely lustrous rich mint orange with superb overall eye appeal, doubling boldest at liberty of lesser sharpness at ingot we trust. One of only handful examples currently known, and no doubt among the finest specimens extant. It was sold for $5,750. Number 13, this is 2005 Saka Javier dollar with satin finish. A collectible coin in MS70 condition, the highest grade available in Sheldon coin grading scale. Coin is virtually free from distractions or contact marks. This outstanding gem was sold for $7,593.75 with buyer's fee. Number 12 here is 1914 deal Lincoln Center MS64 Plus red condition. According to NGC, though not the lowest mintage issue in the Lincoln Center series, the 1,193,000 cents coined at Denver in 1914 have the smallest surviving population. The other two dates were targeted by speculators and thus survive in disproportionately high numbers, while 1914 D cents flew under the radar until the opportunity to save them was all but lost. Most surviving mint state examples of this date are probably from a hoard of 70 pieces mentioned by Walter Breen and still in existence through the early 1950s. It was sold for $8,749.12 with buyer's fee. Number 11, this is 1956 Jefferson Nickel and PR68 deep cameo condition. Bright nickel gray with frosty devices and dusting of light yellow gold toning on both sides. This elusive specimen fetched a sum of $7,762.50. Number 10, this is 1938 D Walking Liberty Half Dollar in MS67 condition. A simply breathtaking superb gems, right of worst peripheries, layered in vivid crimson red, orange gold, and bright blue iridescence that yields to virtual brilliance elsewhere on that side of a coin. Similar colors are also evident on the reverse, but the more vivid ones are more tightly confined to the right border. Bountiful mint luster and uncommonly smooth sheen round out an impressive list of attributes. It was sold for $10,925. Number 9, here is 1952S Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Rich olive russet, sandy gold, orange copper and silver grey colors compete for dominance on both sides of this undeniable original superb gem, virtually perfect with full mint frost and nary a distracting blemish in evidence. It was sold for $10,925. Number 8, this is 1919 Lincoln Sentinel MS65 
red condition, an impressive condition rarity from the early portion of ever popular Lincoln Scent series. This important gem is far finer than the typically offered mean state survivor. We see none of bothersome striking incompleteness and muting to the surfaces often associated with this issue. Instead, both sides retain full mint bloom in warm medium orange hue, tinge of pale rose color, and also intermingled over the surfaces. The strike is sharp throughout and nearly complete. And we see nearly distracting abrasion or other blemish to limit either the grade or eye appeal. It was sold for $14,950. Number 7, this is 1932 D. Washington Quarter in MS65 condition. As one of the lowest mintage issues in the entire Washington Quarter series of 1932 date, the 1932D is a key date issue in all grades. It is also a leading condition rarity for the type, with gems more elusive than those of even the lower mintage 1932S. The strike of this coin is expectably sharp for the issue, but the surfaces are far more smoother than typically seen with none but a few inconsequential ticks scattered about. It ended up selling for $14,375. Number 6, 1971 Lincoln Scent was double diverse, graded in mid state 66 weighed by PCGS. This is an easy double diverse to spot. Although perhaps not for the obvious reasons, doubling is certainly readily evident on the word liberty and the moting God we trust, and to a lesser extent the date. More prominent, however, is the fact that the obverse is struck from a slightly misaligned die with results that it appeared to be somewhat off center. It was sold for $14,950. Number 5, this is 1944 S. Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. According to Stax Powers, a wash in blended reddish gold, blue gray, and pale pink iridescence, this beautiful superb gem retains full vibrancy to a frosty mint luster. There is not so much a single distracting abrasion or other blemish to limit either the technical quality or eye appeal. It was sold for $16,100. Number 4. Here is 1912 Barber Half Dollar in PR67 condition. Deep steel gray with host of vibrant iridescent rainbow hues on both sides. A colorful example of the design type. It was sold for $25,875. Number 3. This is 1916 Standing Liberty Quarter in MS64 condition. A bright and lustrous specimen with a hint of pale gold toning. Nicely struck and not far off the coveted full head designation from the mintage of just 52,000 pieces. Far and away smallest a production figure of the design type, as well as one of the lowest mintage figures among all 20th century issues in any denomination. It was sold for $34,500. Number 2, 1971 S. Ike Dollar overstruck on a San Francisco SA office medal. Great as PR69 read by NGC. A bronze San Francisco SA office medal was used as a host for this rare of metal Eisenhower dollar. Much of the undertub is evident, including the Department of the Treasury, 1789 on obverse, and San and CAL on the reverse. West of the lowered, west of the lowered wing. The orange, red, and lilac color is pleasing and demonstrated by outward metal flow on In God We Trust and United. It was sold for $40,800. And the most valuable lot of this episode, CAC proven 1910 Lincoln Sand in PR68 red condition. According to NGC, this is among the more available math proofs of the Lincoln design. Even so, the number of survivors displaying original red color is quite small. The term mat is misleading as they are actually satin proofs. The coins were not sandblast after striking like the gold proofs, but rather have a natural texture 
imported by the dice the superb gem ended up selling for hundred and sixty five thousand nine hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty cents with buyer's fee thanks for watching this video your likes and comments are highly appreciated and don't forget to smash subscribe and notification buttons below this video take care